But looking over to Rugby Union again, and and we, we've put some shit on Rugby Union because all they do is, is, is go after Rugby League well, players. Well, the only time you talk about Rugby Union, especially in Australia nowadays, is when they're trying to sign a Rugby a rugby League player. Now, the news have broken out that they're going after Nelson Asafa Solomona. Eddie Jones, the coach of the Wallabies, has approached Nelson Asafa Solomona. They've had a meeting. He's about approached the Kiwi. About him <laughs> to potentially play for the Wallabies. Now, I know he's a New Zealander, but the eligibility rules for a Wallaby is very stupid. I think you just got to be in Australia for four years. If you live here for four years, you can play for the Wallabies. You can play for the Wallabies. I could play for the Wallabies. We're a resident. <laughs> the eligibility rules, that's it. He could walk onto the Wallabies. I mean, I think most rugby league players would walk onto the Wallabies. But Asafa Solomona, one of the most damaging players in the rugby league, I think it'd be a great signing for the Wallabies. I think what's more concerning is Eddie Jones has just made a point of saying he's going to sign rugby league players. So... Okay, so Wiley's going to be gone in 2025. Solomona looking likely to go. He no, said I don't Cam think he's Murray. likely to go. It, it, the rumour is that he's had a meeting. I don't know if it's start up his dollars, but he's very likely to sign a three-year extension with the Melbourne Storm. I mean, as but much... the, the thing is, he is a former rugby union player. He grew up playing rugby as well, play. like Suwali. Mm. So, I don't know. I, I think rugby union... This is the only time the media ever talks about rugby union is when they're going after a rugby league player. It seems like it's deja vu when they went after the Lottie Takiris and the Wendell Sailors, Mark the Matty Rogers. Mm. So, I, I don't know. I don't know where... I mean, as Sof 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 Solomona, if I was in his position, if the opportunity of a World Cup presents itself for rugby union, I'm going to take it. I feel like rugby union World Cup is one of the most prestigious sporting events, probably behind the Soccer World Cup and the Olympics. Where, where else do they get that many countries at an elite yeah, level? Do they have the money mm. to even get him after giving $1.6 million to Sue Elite? And don't forget the money to Falau. Yeah, yeah that's got, exactly I've got, right. got a question for you, boys. So, if you throw 15 kangaroo players, rugby league kangaroo mm -hmm. players, up against the Wallabies team, and maybe give them, you know, six months training, who's winning? Wallabies, in, in a, would, in a wallabies, would, wallabies would lose by 50 points. The Kangaroos would absolutely <laughs> smash them. It's not I even a comparison. I get there's some good rugby union well, athletes. Rugby's a, a different sport, but I will agree with you that rugby league players are better athletes and they can easily make the transition into rugby league. I've, had, sure. this, I've had this argument with people all throughout my, my youth because I played union and league. League players are much more athletic. They're fitter. They're more skillful. Every aspect of the game, they just beat There's them. different aspects of the game, though. I'm playing devil's advocate for rugby union. Scrummaging, line-outs, learning all that. Oh, it's not say, like a rugby league I scrum. say if, if you, you throw... Learning all, learning all the, the breakdown and, and the rucks, it's, it's a different game. There's a smaller defensive line. Like, like I just said, it's easier for a rugby league player to transition into rugby union. If the Wallabies were to go up against a Kangaroos, I, I just think it's, it's two of a different game. But a player like an Adam Dewey... Or uh, uh, Cameron Murray walks onto a Wallabies I know, team. I know there's different rules, but I reckon if you throw like a Latrell Mitchell that has no idea of any union rules whatsoever, he, he comes in, play. yeah, any any yeah. dominant. I think any the Kangaroos that just won the World Cup, mm. anyone from their squad would walk onto the Wallabies and be their best player, and that's one through seventeen best player in the Wallabies whole squad. So if you're just looking <laughs> at that, you get seventeen of the best Kangaroo players. Or if you go through it, Tedesco walks on. Latrell. You know, Josh Adokar walks on as a winger. I mean, they love rugby league wingers. Look at our halfbacks. Nathan Cleary. Munster. Munster. Harry Grant. Ben Hunt. Uh, yeah. Josh Papali. They're just walking on there. They're freak athletes. They're just Angus much Crichton. better. Angus and to Crichton. be quite honest with you, we know some rugby union players that play for the Wallabies personally. But if you ask the average person to name five Wallabies right now, That's I don't struggle. think they could. That's struggle. Five, five Wallabies off the top of your head, the average person in Australia... Couldn't name five Wallabies. But you know what? I want the Wallabies to do well in the World Cup this year that's coming up in September. So, Eddie Jones, just pick whoever you want. Buy whoever you want. Take all the NRL players to get them. I, I like the bit of controversy, too. I like that there's a bit of rivalry between league and union. Go for gold. Uh, if it means rugby league players are getting more money in their pockets and you can provide that, go for it. It's a player's market. Fair play. I like to see it.